If algebra is the big game, then sixth grade math is the warm-up. Sixth graders build foundational skills, like working with ratios, that will carry them through algebra and even calculus. With word problems, sixth graders show how they can apply their mastery of ratios to a real-life situation. Alan uses three cups of mashed bananas to make one loaf. How many cups of flour will he use? First, kids should be able to use what they know about ratios to solve the problem. Here, Eric dives right in without needing help. So you do 6 divided by 2 equals 3, 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And the answer would be 1.5. And then, of course, sixth graders can explain their reasoning. Point to what you're showing. So what did it mean to do 6 divided by 2? Um, I know that if you need 3 cups of mashed bananas to make 1 loaf, then that means if you have 6 cups, you can make 2. And with one extra question, you can see how flexible their thinking is. So could you tell us what's the ratio of cups of sugar to loaves of banana bread? 1 to 1. Okay, so... If there were 10 cups of sugar, how many loaves of banana bread could we make? 10. So how can your child's work on word problems tell you if they're getting prepped for algebra? Well, by the end of sixth grade, kids should be able to apply their understanding of ratios to solve real life problems, start and solve the problems on their own, and explain their calculations in the context of the problem.